I'm 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. I want to give you a little bit deeper dive into those hurricane track cones that you see issued by the National Hurricane Center. So what they do is they basically forecast where the center of the storm will be out in time. So 24 hours out in time, 48, 72, three days right. 96 hours out to about five days out, 120 hours. Now, what makes that cone that size? And that's what I want to talk about today. What they do is they actually use concentric circles to plot where that center point is. They put that circle over it, and then that tells you how wide the cone's going to be. Now, where do they get these circles from? It turns out it's actually from the amount of error that they have seen over the last five years when they plot the center of a hurricane. So for instance, we're going to use day three, right? Day three, they said, okay, today's Monday. We're going to issue this by Wednesday. We think the center of storm is going to be here. Okay. Wednesday comes and goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then they go back and they say, okay, how far off were we? And then they figure out how far off they were in miles. And then they do that for a five year period. And I know it's kind of long here and they actually use two thirds of that error that they came up with. They kind of average it out and they say, you know what, over the last five years, we were about 103 miles off from the center, at least from where we thought it would be. And typically these tend to get a little bit better. So then you can see next year. Well, look at that. We added 2017 through 2021 and we're off by about 100 miles. So it is getting a little bit closer. And what happens is it shrinks that circle. So now you apply that circle to the day three circle that was there the year before and you see the difference here that's going to make the cone a little bit thinner and then they do that for each one of these and in fact sometimes they get off a little bit uh, so that's why you see the width of the cone the way it is it's really important to point out this has nothing to do with the wind and the rain of a hurricane OK, it's only for the center of that storm. Now, take a look, for example, right here. Say you're over on the east coast of Florida thinking the storm's going to be somewhere out in here. But using the air over the last five years and what they show you here in the cone, the center of that storm could be as far west as just about 50 miles offshore of Cape Canaveral. That would put a whole lot more weather and wind and rain, of course, right there on the coast of Florida. That's it, guys. That's how we use the cone. Stay informed, prepared, and connected with 10 Tampa Bay during hurricane season and every day. Watch us on your phone. Just download our app, stream us on your TV, and you can even watch live newscasts on 10tampabay.com.